Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're gonna continue building this dice game. So we do have two dice. Uh, the first die is the one right here, and the second is right here. Now, what I was thinking is to add the buttons of rolling the dice and the holding button right here. So after the second die right here. All right. So what we're gonna do is to simply build these. I'm gonna start by simply creating the roll dice and it will be a Q push button of label roll and we do have the hold to Q push button and it will say hold. Now after building these dice, what we're gonna do is to also set the cursor into pointing hand cursor for both of them. So roll dice and we're gonna set cursor into q cursor and qt core dot qt dot pointing hand cursor all right so we're good to go now let me just add this for the hold too and of course we need to add these into the actual grid that we have so let me go ahead and add them right here so grid dot add widget i'm gonna add the roll dice at position of a row two and index uh, of column one. And then we're gonna add the same thing for the hold. We're gonna add it at row three and column one. And I think we're good to go. Run. And as we can see, we got the roll and hold right here. And we're going to change them into the same style that we have for new game right now. Now let's have a quick look on the grid that we just created. So if I just place it right here, we can see all right. Now, as we can see for player one, all of the elements that are for this player are actually displayed at the column one. So this column one is at index zero so everything for player one is at index of column one at zero so as you can see we do have here zero zero and zero and then everything related to player two is actually at column two at index column two which is here two two and also two right here and as for the dice and the buttons we do have them at the middle which is index one for the column and as you can see here we here they are image one image two roll dice and hold all of them at column one so that's it basically uh, for the grid that we have for now now let's improve the style sheet of the hold and just also the roll dice so i'm gonna go ahead and copy everything from the new game style sheet and I'm gonna just paste it here. I'm gonna change this into roll dice and I'm gonna do it again for also the hold one. All right, so we're good now. Let me just close this, run again. And we can see that we do have now the two buttons, roll and hold right here. So that's it basically for the front end of the game as we can see we do have both players we have the current score we have the actual dice and of course the final roll and hold buttons where we're gonna roll for the using that that's playing and hold whenever he chooses to all right so that's it basically for the front end In the next video we're gonna start building the back end of this game and we're going to link it to the front end and create the actual game and play it. So that's it basically. See you in the next video.